I recently asked my followers on Twitter, if you had entry level peripherals, what's the first thing you'd need to upgrade? And the majority of people voted for mouse. Monitor did get a fair share of votes as well, but keyboard and headset were far behind. He's being crunched from both sides. He's got it's always been one of the questions that I've been asked by upcoming players. How do I choose my peripherals? How do I choose my mouse? I decided to take a deep dive into how Simple chose the mouse that he is using today. Yeah, double smokes in the same place there. Simple just jumping casually into the side. He's gonna fall down again. The what is this smoke from? Simple, are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. He comes in with that. It's the no scope. It's the no scope. He didn't even. He had. We had one bite on his mouse there. As we've all been witness to in the last couple of years, Simple is the greatest Counter Strike player. He currently uses the FK One Plus. After switching to the FK One Plus, Simple became HLTV's top player of the year in 2018. Before that, he was using the ZA13, another Zowie mouse. When looking at simple settings, it's clear that he's using a higher sensitivity than the average professional. He uses 400 DPI, but an in-game sensitivity of 3.09, which leads to a 1236 effective DPI. Let's take a look at his grips now. As we can see, Simple's finger positioning has changed slightly from a more relaxed palm style to a claw grip as the years went on. And similar to most high sensitivity players, he moves his mouse primarily with his wrist. What works so well with ambidextrous Zowie mice is that when you pivot your wrist, you actually can move left and right in an almost perfectly straight line. But why did Simple switch from the ZA13 to the FK1 Plus? I tested out both mice for a week on Simple's sensitivity. I enjoyed how quickly I could move the ZA13 due to its light weight and small size, but I felt the FK1 Plus supported my hand and wrist more adequately during long sessions. When looking at the dimensions of both mice, you can see that the ZA13 and FK1 Plus actually have the same height. The FK1 Plus is longer, so it may support the palm of your hand and your wrist just a little better, but they have a very similar feel to them. When considering what mouse to use, it's important to consider your grip style and your type of aiming. If you're more of an arm aimer, perhaps an ergonomic mouse may do better for you than an ambidextrous mouse. And if you are a claw grip versus a relaxed grip, the height of your mouse, the length of your mouse, and the width may all play as important factors in when you choose a mouse that suits you. Choosing the right peripherals is not going to turn you into simple, but it could give you the confidence to play like him. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, and leave in the comments below if you'd want me to take a closer look at any other pros peripheral choices.